None, yes. Okay. So let's check that everyone is here. Okay. I mean, judges and mm. last and finalists. Okay. So uh, final. Let's start with finalists. Uh, Asilia Kupueva. I'm here. here. Okay, great. Uh, Soda. I'm Can here. Okay. Uh, Maxat Altai 360. I'm here. Okay. Uh, Ice Solution by Janet Garden. I confirm. I'm here. Okay, cool. Uh, Nazika Yasubekwa, self typing. I'm here. Okay. Uh, Adile Toktogulov, Genesis Bionics. I'm here, thank you. Okay. Uh, Adile Begali of Sigma Eros. I'm here. Okay, cool. Uh, Adilet uh, Maratov, uh, Reviro. Okay. Uh, Talgat Modalirev. Talgat? Yes, Tanko. we are here. Okay. Uh, Enurai Mazigalieva, number one. Here. Yeah. Okay, fine. Uh, just quick check uh, for, for the finalists. Have you ever, or is there anyone who has not uh, done some Zoom presentation or has not shared the screen before? Do you all know how, how it's done? Yes, yes, so I believe. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine, good. And uh, so then let's move to, to judges. Uh, uh, Farhat Pakirov. I'm here. Farhad here, yeah, okay. Then, so then, uh, Dastan Omuraliev. Dastan here. Dastan, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Hello. Okay, fine. Hello. Uh, so the next, uh, Merim Tabagira. Hi, everyone. I'm right here. Okay, nice, nice to see you. Uh, Kalis. Hello, yes, I'm here. Hello, okay, welcome. And uh, Tilek Ashimov. Here. Okay. So yes, everyone who is here, we have here also the, the Kiel is here and Phil is here. So basically we can start. I'll just like quick check with uh, my colleague Juan and we are starting. Nedim, can you turn off your mic, please?
Okay, so dear finally, dear judges, we are ready, right? Can you hear me? Yeah, yes, hear me? we're ready. Yes, yes, yes. let's start. So uh, good afternoon, everyone. I hope you are in good mood today because like today it's another exciting and interesting day in the life of uh, startup ecosystem in Kyrgyzstan. Uh, Peak Kyrgyzstan is hosting the national finals of Entrepreneurship uh, World Cup, which is always the great opportunity for local startups to be spotlighted on the global arena. Uh, my name is Anton Khodilka and I will guide you through our uh, today's, uh, today's event. Uh, Entrepreneurship World Cup is a global competition which is held by Peak Kyrgyzstan for the second time. Last year, two of our startups uh, were selected for the global rounds and global, uh, the global finals. One of them reached to, uh, top 100 of startups companies, uh, while the, the, the best one reached uh, top 25. So I hope that one of our today's participants and finalists will be able to succeed uh, as these companies does and will reach uh, the tops of the Entrepreneurship World Cup uh, this year. The goal of today's session is to select one representative, one company which applied for Entrepreneurship World Cup and which will further um, further represent Kyrgyzstan on this uh, global arena. In the very beginning, let me tell you briefly about Entrepreneurship World Cup. It's a global uh, competition in pitching and startups uh, hosted by um, Global Entrepreneurship Network and World uh, Entrepreneurship Congress, which is held every year in, uh, in Saudi Arabia. Each country out of 200 countries may nominate one company which will compete there for prices of up to 1 million US dollars in grants for development of the, of the uh, startups. Sorry, Okay. Uh, and as, as, I, as I told you, it's the second time while we as a peak Kyrgyzstan uh, host this event. Uh, last year, two of our companies and successful graduates participate in the program. Uh, this year, as uh, this is the part of our um, startup and MSME support, we are hosting this event. Uh, and before we start, uh, I would like to give a word to the president of the Global Entrepreneurship Network, who will tell us more about uh, this competition. Ulan, please, can you turn on the video?
So, dear participants, we are sorry for some technical issues. So, I believe my colleagues is trying to solve at this moment. Hi, my name is Jonathan Altmans, and I'm the president and the founder of the Global Entrepreneurship Network. And on behalf of all of our global partners, especially the MISC Foundation, I want to welcome you to the Entrepreneurship World Cup. Over the course of the last three years, since we kicked off this initiative in nations across the world, we've helped more than 300,000 startups to test their ideas. Yes, they've competed for prizes competed for the opportunity to get uh, support, but in the end, all of them have got access to training, to perks, and to the networks of their peers that we hope will help them succeed if they didn't this time around. But this time around, yes, they're competing for a million dollars in prizes and many millions of dollars in perks and other kinds of benefits, not to mention the training and the mentorship and the ongoing support that comes with being a part of the EWC community. We are very, very proud this year that the finals will be in November. They'll be back on back with the Global Entrepreneurship Congress, which is Jen's annual large gathering of the year of all 200 countries that we operate. We'll be bringing together the leaders of those ecosystems with their startups and their investors to really take a close look alongside their governments at what the future has installed for us in this post-pandemic environment. Right now, we're seeing the roaring back of our economies, and it's time for us to take a careful and thoughtful look about where are the tailwinds, yes, but where are the opportunities for us to build back better in this post-pandemic global environment. So we'll be having that Congress. Whether you win and get into the EWC 100 and make it to the EWC final stage, uh, it doesn't matter. You're all welcome to join the Global Entrepreneurship Congress in Riyadh in November. If indeed you're ready to get back to live face-to-face -face community building and relationship building, we would love to have you. More information can be made available at gec.co. But today we're focused on the Entrepreneurship World Cup. Welcome. We look forward to meeting all of the startups participating and look forward to seeing some of them indeed at the global gathering that takes place in November. So good luck and thank you. So that was the, the president of uh, Entrepreneurship World Cup. Uh, and uh, so, uh, as I told you before, this event and initiative in Kyrgyzstan was made possible thanks to Peak Kyrgyzstan, which is helping and supporting uh, the development of uh, startups and small and medium enterprises. All of this is possible thanks to support and funding of the UK government uh, and UK aid. Uh, so, which is which is uh, funding this uh, business support, uh, support of startups, MSMEs, and overall entrepreneurial ecosystem in Kyrgyzstan. So now I'd like to pass the world uh, for the congratulations speech uh, to Philip Vernon, private sector development advisor of uh, Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office of UK in Kyrgyzstan. Philip. Thanks, Anton. Hi, everyone. Yes, so I'm um, the UK's economic development team leader and private sector development advisor in Central Asia. 
and I'm absolutely delighted to welcome you all to this year's Entrepreneurship World Cup National Finals in Kyrgyzstan, which being held for only the second time, but it's uh, it's an absolutely fantastic event. So the UK wants to champion uh, entrepreneurship in Central Asia. We want to create a stronger and more diverse and more inclusive private sector uh, in Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan. And that's a private sector to deliver sustainable economic growth. And that's why we support the Peak Enterprise and Innovation Programme. So Peak has pioneered this pitch competition um, and acted as a national organiser since 2019. And we are really proud that Peak gets to play this, this vital role um, across, across the two countries we support. And the reason we use uh, UK aid uh, through Peak is that we want to support startups, micro, uh, small and medium enterprises to transform entrepreneurial ideas, to turn that into a viable business, um, as well as scaling what is existing ideas and facilitating them to access finance. And it's the Entrepreneurship World Cup that provides a fantastic opportunity for entrepreneurs at every single stage, idea, early or growth, to find investment, to learn and offer their own innovative practices, um, an opportunity to network and to take their idea, their business global. So I think that you know, being committed to creating opportunities for local entrepreneurs to maximize their potential, to spread the message, to, to launch, to strengthen um, and scale their ventures. Um, we, by doing that, we maximize the opportunities that exist here. But this a great event um, is only possible with partnership. Um, and for that, Peak is very lucky to have uh, a number of uh, fantastic national partners here, which help make this event a reality. Particularly, it's great to see support from, from the private sector. So I just want to say thank you for them for partnering with us, for making this event even bigger, uh, raising the profile. But also a huge thank you to our judges today, because it's really wonderful to see successful entrepreneurs and experts um, in entrepreneurship giving up their time today uh, to giving a little bit back to growing growing the ecosystem um, and it's, it's only through that through that sharing experience from you know attracting attention yourselves that we can um, that we can continue to shine a spotlight on uh, on on the wonderful ideas and growth we're seeing here in Kyrgyzstan and I, I want to just finish my remarks by wishing uh, huge luck to, to all our finalists today and, and congratulations for for getting your business and your idea to this this stage because you know I've seen so many wonderful examples of entrepreneurship and innovation um, in, in Kyrgyzstan and it's it's a great pity that only one um, entrepreneur gets to gets to represent Kyrgyzstan here um, but I, I'm really confident that whoever, whoever we send will, um, will of course do Kyrgyzstan proud and has real chance of cracking the top 25 uh, at the global finals later this year but thank you once again everyone thank you for listening to me I'll let us let us crack on with a, a wonderful event but all the best to everyone involved. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you very much, uh, Phil, for a welcoming speech. Uh, now I'd like to ask uh, our country director of PIC, uh, uh, I'm sorry, a little bit later. Uh, yes, so our next partner, who I'd like to invite and who also made this event uh, possible today, uh, is uh, representative of uh, Organization for Security and Cooperation in uh, Europe, OECE. And uh, I would like to ask Kalik, uh, Kalis Hasanova for her welcoming speech. Um, thank you, Anton. Uh, yes, uh, my name is uh, Kalis Hasanova. I am a um, national economic officer of the OEC program office in Bishkek. So uh, first of all, <clears throat> on behalf of uh, my office, I would like to uh, congratulate uh, our uh, national finalists uh, um, and um, as you know, as a result of uh, evaluation uh, in line with the evaluation criteria, uh, I would say the most uh, feasible, uh, realistic and uh, unique uh, business ideas, business uh, uh, projects were sele selected. And uh, uh, we are sure, we hope that uh, the further implementation of uh, uh, these great uh, business uh, projects uh, will um, bring benefits not only for to the uh, authors of the project uh, uh, projects, business uh, uh, ideas, uh, but also will somehow uh, contribute to 
enhancing uh, social economic well-being of uh, uh, of the country. So uh, the uh, OEC program office in Bishkek is uh, happy and uh, proud of being part of uh, the uh, of this program of uh, the Entrepreneurship World Cup 2021 in Kyrgyzstan uh, because uh, uh, this uh, program uh, supports entrepreneurs, uh, startups uh, uh, from uh, many countries um, or let's say from all over the world uh, to um, to reach uh, their ambitious uh, uh, business uh, goals uh, by providing not only by providing access not only to the financial resources but also to uh, providing uh, connections, uh, providing networks uh, and the knowledge uh, uh, and also um, innovative technologies. Uh, so uh, the. Um, creation of uh, favorable uh, conditions for the development of uh, the uh, business sector is one of the uh, let's say priority um, uh, priority areas or priority activities of our office uh, and our support focuses on uh, the development of uh, uh, small and medium-sized enterprises uh, in their regions uh, by uh, providing access of local entrepreneurs to uh, to business advisory services to trainings and also by facilitating public-private dialogue uh, so in order to promote the development of uh, SMEs, uh, uh, our office in the partnership with uh, the business association GIA uh, supported the establishment of um, uh, the entrepreneurship support centers in five uh, provinces of Kyrgyzstan. And uh, by delivering demand-driven uh, services, uh, the centers help uh, are helping entrepreneurs to uh, increase efficiency uh, of business and to be more uh, innovative and uh, uh, creative in uh, uh, in running uh, their businesses. Uh, so, and I, I am confident and I am sure that uh, uh, the uh, our centers will. Uh, also help and support uh, our finalists to um, bring their ideas to life. So uh, they will also provide them with, uh, um, uh, with consultations or uh, other support if uh, needed. So once again, uh, uh, once again, uh, our congratulations to finalists and uh, we, wish, we wish your business growth and uh, uh, prosperity. Good luck. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you very much, Kalis, and thank you very much to uh, OEC for, for the support for this event. The, the prize, which were prize, is really, uh, really valuable. And uh, yes, we will speak about it uh, a bit more later. Uh, as the next speaker, I'd like to invite uh, Mr. Fahad Pakirov, uh, the head of uh, GI in Kyrgyzstan, who is also the partner uh, of uh, our today's event. Thank you very much, uh, the uh, partners and the friends. Uh, my name is Parhat. It's honor to us to be part of the project, uh, to be part of the team, and the, to be part of the, the participants uh, um, of the program. Uh, I am represented for representative one of the active employers organization in the Caucasus Republic, uh, which title is JIA Business Association. And uh, today uh, our organization unites more than 1,000 small and medium uh, size of enterprise. And the main purpose of the organization is it's to support, uh, promote, and the, to protect interest of entrepreneurs in our country. And today, as a, as a result of uh, COVID-19, uh, many countries now faced an economic downturn, and every day unemployment and the poverty rates have increased. On the other hand, in the uh, business, uh, the era of new trends uh, has begun, and the new directions are opening up uh, every day. So our association, association are actively trying to support projects and, and the events which uh, usually promote startups. Because today startups means it's innovation, uh, which our country 
need today. So uh, this uh, project, International World Cup, uh, plays an important role to grow up successful entrepreneurs. This event is a unique opportunity to find promising partners and the increase knowledge for entrepreneurs. So uh, I would like uh, to say with a little advice for startup entrepreneurs today using this opportunity. Uh, today in our society, uh, it's business associations, uh, employers organizations, different uh, entrepreneurs business clubs. It's a unique uh, platform uh, of entrepreneurs because it's like a house of successful entrepreneurs. And spending time with successful people, it's uh, new information and uh, new knowledge and experience and the network uh, for uh, young entrepreneurs so promising entrepreneurs. So I would like uh, to say uh, uh, today's uh, participants uh, to be uh, with successful entrepreneurs. Uh, good luck to all. Thank you very much for this opportunity to share a short speech with you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Farhat. And uh, last but not least, I would like to ask uh, Catherine Kevins, who is a representative of uh, Dodo Pizza, uh, which is also partnering with us on uh, national finals of EWC Kyrgyzstan. Catherine, please, stage is yours. Uh, hello. Hello. Uh, you, you can hear me. Yes, we, yes, can, we hear can hear you. you. We can hear you. Uh, Katrin, I'm sorry. Now we cannot hear you. Before we hear. Okay. Hello. Now it's everything is fine. Everything is fine. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Uh, my name is Katrin uh, Kavans. I'm a ma marketing manager in Dodo Pizza in Bishkek. And uh, we would like to say um, thank you for taking a part in this uh, uh, event, international event. And uh, also we wanted to contribute to the development of this ecosystem of Kyrgyzstan. And uh, we're glad that we can support uh, in this uh, event of the, on international level. Uh, also, we very happy and congratulate the the finalists for the uh, congratulations uh, for finishing this uh, uh, level and uh, we wish uh, good luck uh, also uh, we support and uh, always happy to um, be in you know, together in this uh, uh, e events so thank you for listening and good luck to in the financial. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Katrin. Uh, and at, the, at this moment, I would like to uh, really appreciate uh, and express my appreciation for the support we just provided by all our partners and supporters. Uh, it, this helps us, your support help us to make the event uh, and the national finals even more uh, interesting and exciting for, for our startups and, and all participants. Mm. So without any further ado, mm -hmm. uh, we really appreciate your, uh, your support. Uh, today, uh, the, this, this event is uh, the, the graduation of uh, several months of uh, hard work, which we did to select the best startups, uh, the most potential startups in, in our country. Uh, we have received more than 60 applications and 10 with the highest potential were selected for today's finals. The goal of today's event, as I already mentioned, is to select the uh, top three. And out of this top three, one which will be nominated for the Global uh, Entrepreneurship World Cup Finals and Acceleration Program, which is providing some extra opportunity to this uh, to, to our national winner. Uh, but we have uh, more prizes, which I would like to introduce you uh, now. So the winner today is main of the main prize uh, we are competing for is the nomination 
for uh, Entrepreneurship World Cup Global, uh, Global Finals, only one company from each country uh, can be nominated. So, uh, but uh, this year, thanks to the support of uh, OEC, we will be able to provide the winner with uh, 5,000 uh, euros uh, of in-kind support for purchase of uh, ITC or other equipment necessary for development of uh, their startup in the future. Uh, those or uh, the, the one which will uh, end up on the second uh, on the second place uh, we will receive uh, up to 50 hours of business advisory uh, which is provided by entrepreneurship support support center uh, established by GIA business association and uh, OEC program office in Bishkek uh, and last but not least for the third place even we as a peak Kyrgyzstan wanted to support uh, our, our uh, winner which is, uh, and we will provide the 12 hours of mentorship support uh, to, uh, to the winning team or the, the, the winner, if it's a single founder, uh, the mentor will be selected based on the profile of the, of the winning team. Uh, but we have some additional prices. All uh, three top winners will receive like four months uh, supply of tasty and amazing Dodo Pizza, so they can work even better on their startups uh, and businesses. And all, all 10 national finalists uh, who are, which are participating today uh, will, have, um, will get the access to free online uh, mini MBA courses provided by OEC program office in Bishkek. Mm -hmm. uh, how is going? Uh, how is the day is organized today? So uh, EWC five national finals are uh, is the pitching competition. All ten finalists uh, will have the possibility to pitch uh, for three minutes. Exactly. After three, after these three minutes, uh, uh, there will be like a round of two minutes for Q and A. Yes, when the, the judges uh, will have the right to ask the questions. Uh, we have the, the board of judges, which is evaluating each startup uh, by four main criteria, people or team, product, potential, and predictability. Yes, the, the goal of these four criteria is to select the, the, the startup or the team uh, which has the diversity to realize their idea, who has good idea for a potential idea on the, on the growing market, uh, and also some um, traction record already proving that this team is able to execute. Uh, who are our judges for today? Uh, I would like to introduce you our judges, but also some quick uh, welcoming words from, uh, from each of them I would like to ask. So first of all, it's uh, Kilek Ashimov, chairman of the board uh, of, the board of uh, BT Innovations. Kilek, welcome. Okay, uh, the next one is, uh, the second judge is Merin uh, Tabaldieva, who is designer and, and founder of Merin Tab Brain, founder of Cafe de Paris and uh, other Horeca uh, restaurants and restaurants. Uh, the third judge is Kalis uh, Hasanova, who is representative for National Economic Officer at the uh, OEC program office in Bishkek. Uh, the fourth one is Dastan Omuraliev, uh, the founder and CEO of Ecoproduct uh, Asia. And the last but not least is Farhat Pakirov, uh, Executive Director of GIA uh, Business Association. Thank you very much for joining uh, our today's events and all initiative. Uh, and yes, the most important ones uh, in the end. Uh, so uh, I'm proud to introduce you 10 finalists uh, who are selected out of uh, 60 companies. Uh, here on the screen, you can see like the 10, 10 companies uh, which were selected through screening and one round of scoring uh, by judges. Uh, as you can see, we have selected uh, the most, most of the most of the today's finalists are uh, startups at uh, a majority of them already have some tr uh, traction record, have some successes, and they are at the early stage. But we also have some like two to three companies who are at the idea stage. Uh, majority of companies are working in the field of uh, IT. They are they are uh, developing some uh, technology solution for various uh, local and global global pro uh, global problems. Uh, unfortunately, only one can win and be nominated for the global rounds. Uh, but I definitely recommend you to watch all of them because all of them have potential to achieve something interesting and contribute to development on the local, but even the international market. So without any further ado, I would like to move to, to pitching competition. And I would like to, and we will start today with uh, Asiel Kupueva and her project uh, Kupuev Online. 
Academy. So, Asiel, whenever you are ready. Hi. Hi, Asiel. So, can you see me? Yes, we can see your screen. And uh, just a second. Uh, just a second. Uh, now we can see you. Uh -huh. Excellent. So, I am Asiela Kupuiva, and I'm a co founder of the Kupuiv Online. It is my honor to introduce our innovative online educational platform at this year's Kyrgyzstan Nationals of the Entrepreneurship World Cup. But first, let me tell you about our school. We opened first private progressive school in Osh two years ago, and we already have more than 200 talented, beautiful kids. Our curriculum is one of a kind. We are focused on developing well-rounded, confident and resilient kids who are ready for the future. This is the team behind Kupui Online. We have an amazing team of uh, highly professional uh, people who are really good at creating highly engaging video educational materials. And of course, we are leveraging Kupui Academy's deep talent, deep, deep talent pool of uh, experienced and dedicated committed teachers. Now the problem. Everybody knows that Kyrgyzstan has a very deteriorating public education. We don't have enough schools. We don't have enough teachers. Private schools are out of reach for majority of the population. And COVID made everything worse. So our vision is to make quality education accessible to every school child in Kyrgyzstan. Our solution is an online school platform with an easy, a simple user interface, easy navigation, and entire school content will, content will be in one place. Video lessons, text materials, and tests. It will be accessible via phone, tablet, and computers. But the core of our solution are engaging video lessons. As you can see from these snapshots of our existing lessons, these lessons will be beautiful, highly professionally edited, and highly engaging. These are the lessons that every school child in Kyrgyzstan will be interested in watching. The market opportunity will be, is massive. Everybody knows that global educational tech is growing at a very rapid pace. But even in Kyrgyzstan, you have more than 1.3 million of underserved kids. And our platform will provide supplementary educational material at an affordable price point. Within five years, we plan on reaching 80,000 pupils, which is more than 6% of our population, of school population. And at an affordable uh, subscription price of 2.3 million, uh, 2.3 per month dollars, the revenues will be uh, in excess of 1.6 million. So our execution plan, what we have done so far, we already have more than 500 lessons done. Our core team is in place. And our website is almost done. We are just looking for funding to complete the website. And we are hoping to launch our pilot in Osh this year. And so please support us in our vision of making quality education accessible to every school child in Kyrgyzstan. Thank you. Thank you very much. So uh, dear judges, now is your time for your questions. If you have some questions to, to ask Yela, please feel free to ask. Hi, can I be the first one to ask? Yes, yes I'm sorry, I might have missed uh, this part, but what about the curriculum? Which curriculum? The curriculum is, is the, yes, yes, excellent. Um, we already have an existing functioning school, so we are leveraging on the existing uh, content. So our teachers will be are already making video lessons, so we will be repeating uh, making the best teachers available for the video lesson. So we will be offering math, English, physics, chemistry, and, uh, and the rest of the classes online. So the curriculum is going to be the same curriculum offered in schools in Kyrgyzstan currently? Yes, correct. Because we, we envision that it will be a supplementary education where in schools you don't have the high quality teachers. It's really difficult to find them. And uh, so that's why we want to supplement the best, uh, the best teachers available to everybody in Kyrgyzstan. 
Thank you. Thank can you very I? much. Yes. Can I? Yeah. Charlie, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, I have a question on the. Um, uh, we know that uh, in the remote areas, uh, the technical capacity of schools uh, are very low. And uh, how you are going to promote your product, your service in the uh, remote areas? We will be relying on a lot of marketing dollars to make sure that uh, everybody gets to know that, this, that such existing platform exists. And also we will be partnering with key uh, schools and as well as the state educational authorities to make sure that teachers are aware of that and they can use our materials as supplement. Thank you. Another question. Yes, what about those kids that don't have access to internet or uh, gadgets? Do you know any um, statistics on that? Um, yes, uh, that's why, yes, uh, I think our Kyrgyzstan has the cheapest internet in the entire world. I think we are second cheapest and the uh, proportion of uh, people who have smartphones is high. Uh, we rely on parents providing uh, phones to their kids uh, in, in case, uh, you know, they themselves don't have it. Uh, and hopefully with the uh, increasing uh, reductions in prices for gadgets, I think the phones will become more accessible with each year. Thank you. Okay, uh, thank you very much. That was the last question for Asila. For now, uh, Asila, I'd like to ask you to stop sharing uh, your video because the next one was going to present uh, their startup is uh, Kanike Osmanaleva, uh, which is the small factory producing uh, oils and various products from lavender. So, uh, Kanike, when we are ready, feel free to start, please. Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, we can. Please, can you share your presentation as well? Yes. <clears throat> uh, greetings to the organizers and judges. Thank you for arranging this event, and I wish good luck to all the finalists. My name is Konigeus Mameliva, and I would like to start with the main goals of our team, which were determined for the next two years. Changing the current distribution system of consumer goods, transition of more than 8,500 businesses to cashless payment. Uh, the Soda Marketplace is a centralized B2B internet platform where manufacturers can place and sell their products as well as the customers at any convenient time can purchase and pay for orders in uh, uh, non-cash form. For ease of understanding of our startup, I will explain it with a specific uh, example. Dodo Pizza, one of the <clears throat> sponsors of this event, using the Marketplace Soda, Dodo Pizza will be able to uh, order all the necessary products ranging from Coca-Cola to paper products in four clicks. The soda marketplace is aimed at solving the following problems. Overflow in supply stuff. Unable to derive real key performance indicators of sales representatives. Inability to meet effective demand. Smuggling trade. Collection of orders by outdated methods. Uh, storage of a large number of consignment notes and daily contact with sales representatives during the pandemic. In addition to solving all of the above problems, the Soda Marketplace has a unique solution aimed at optimizing the technological process of goods delivery. Uh, and within two years of joint cooperation, it will eliminate inefficiently working links in supply chain without losing the target segment of consumers. And our target audience of consumers in Bishkek and our cities is more than 11,000 businesses with an annual um, consumer potential of more than 100, 100 billion sums and also more than 100 official distributors uh, whose expenses on for maintaining a staff of sales representatives uh, are more than 1 billion uh, sums per year. This slide uh, shows statistics published by uh, government committee and show the total consumption of goods in Kyrgyzstan each year. And the soda marketplace uses a transactional model to monetize uh, and plans to earn money from each sold item, uh, provided the payment 
uh, is made through soda. Producers of uh, goods receiving income in non-cash form uh, <clears throat> are exempt from sales tax, which is 1-2%. Uh, in cooperation with us, neither manufacturers of goods nor customers will incur any costs. And sorry, to attract uh, a large number of users uh, from category customer, we will hold uh, a monthly lottery with uh, total winnings of 100,000 sounds, uh, which will be sent to customers to order to purchase goods in soda. Our team has negotiated with the trademark Megacom for one month uh, to conclude an agreement uh, for for the processing of manufacturers funds and for placing our products uh, soda in payment terminals uh, thank you for your attention thank you very much uh, kanike further i would like to ask uh, judges uh, before asking your questions as we are this streaming this to the international platform i'd like to ask you to turn on your uh, video as well uh, mm -hmm. when you ask your questions. So uh, first one to ask. If I may. Yes, Tilek. Mm -hmm. Hello. Yes, hello. Um, thank you for the presentation. Uh, we're also, I know this business very well in terms of distribution and everything that you told me. The question that I have is, how are you going to persuade these grocery stores to move to your platform? Uh, on the first stage, we would uh, uh, involve all the owners of the shops uh, through sales representatives. Uh, we will uh, sales representatives will ask uh, the owners to uh, join to our project to use our project. Okay, I'll, I'll ask uh, another question similar to this. If you know, last year during this same competition. Uh, one of the companies that won was called Optim Trade, and they're doing very similar things, uh, or at least were doing similar things that you are doing right now. But uh, I think they did not expect that this would be as difficult as it is, because uh, the grocery stores that are owned by individuals, they are run, this is a family business, and most of them uh, are not ready to move into an online platform that they can use. They're used to sales representatives coming to their stores every day, plus uh, the sales representatives, other than just uh, taking orders, they also do merchandising. How are you gonna solve this? Um, we've got a lot of advantages, advantages for uh, owners. Uh, this platform will be free for them and they won't pay any money for using our platform. And I think that's the main advantage of using our soda marketplace. And also they will be involved in a monthly lottery that we will uh, help. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Any other question? We have one minute left. Okay, if there are no other questions, uh, thank you very much, uh, Kanike. Thank you. Thank, you. thank you for your presentation and answers. Uh, now we'd like to move to the next uh, finalist, uh, which is Maxat Konushaliev with uh, his project Altai 360 Studio, which is focusing on utilization of uh, virtual reality and uh, producing the movies uh, and videos in this virtual re reality. Unfortunately, um, Maxad is not able to join us and uh, deliver his speech online. We, we, we ask him to provide his pre-recorded video, uh, which will be played now. Uh, but uh, further on, he will answer your questions uh, live. So please, let's play the video. Hello, dear participants. Uh, my name is Maxad Kamsulif, and I'm founder of Altai360 Studio. Uh, let me tell you the history 
and the background. We have 10 years background in tourism, three more years in photo and video, and two month acceleration program by DevSit AUCA that was made by uh, Kyrgyz Patent. And we won the prize 500,000 Kyrgyz sum as one of the finalists of Kyrgyz Patent Kyrgyz Startup uh, acceleration program and contest. Uh, one of our cases is 3D Kyrgyzstan project. It's a virtual map of tourism. This is our successful case. We made it for Department of Tourism of Kyrgyz Republic. And here's the link where you can see our project. And we already reached 2.9 million views on Google Maps in half a year. And right now we're also working on a similar project for all Central Asia. It's right now in progress and it's way bigger. Uh, the problem that our startup is supposed to solve is not enough high quality VR content. So a value proposition would be use the latest solutions for this unique technology and create more high quality VR content. Safety in post COVID period and sales growth via, uh, via full involvement of potential clients into their products, uh, innovative marketing and easy to use. Uh, this is how our, the structure of our team looks like. I'm the founder, Maksa Konshalif, and my partner, Andrei Kislitsyn. And we have various type of specialists that we hire on, on a freelance base. Depends on the project needs. Uh, startup goals to win EWC 2021, make VR worldwide expedition, become one of the world's leading VR studio, and partnership with such a big companies like YouTube, Facebook, uh, Oculus, Netflix, VR, etc., and reach 1 million subscribers. Client's portrait, we work with B2G, B2B, B2C, uh, creative industry, tourism, IT, digital nomads, uh, business owners, international organizations, and governments. And total ad addressable market is 1 billion web users. Serviceable uh, available market is 5.5 million VR users. And serviceable obtainable market is about 1 million users. Here's the numbers of uh, how much we get from last year, how much we expect to get this year, and we're planning to double it in 2022. Uh, requested investment is $500,000 to buy uh, the VR accessories, better quality, and make the expedition worldwide. Risks, more competitors on the market, change of technology, pandemic and lockdown, economic crisis. A plan to minimize the risk is always work on quality, permanent team skill improvement, self-education and content creation and new markets. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, just to clarify uh, for, for judges and audience, all uh, participants were asked to provide their videos just in case they had some issues with the connection or some other technical issues. Uh, and in the case of Maxa, we were, we were forced to, to use this video. Uh, but Maxa is live with us and he is ready to answer your questions. So the first one to ask. Are there any questions for Maxat or? I have a question. Sorry, I might have missed um, this part as well. But uh, how, what is the plan to grow globally? Is there any opportunity there in your opinion? And how would that work? Uh, yeah, thank you for your question. Uh, we are now working for all Central Asia, for Kazakhstan and Tajikistan and Kyrgyzstan as well. And we have some uh, <clears throat> regional plans. Uh, we're planning to fly to Moscow uh, this autumn and start and discuss there the opportunity to make a similar project uh, to the Russia, because as you know, they're developing a lot and investing a lot into the tourism. And our project, uh, VR project, is, <clears throat> is a good tool for uh, not only the government to provide uh, their tourism opportunities, <coughs> I'm sorry, but also it's a very nice tool for the old local tourism companies to, uh, it makes itinerary for travel easier. And uh, we also going to present our 3D Kyrgyzstan project in Expo 2021 in Dubai uh, this uh, September as well. And I was invited by Chamber of Commerce of Kyrgyz Republic to present it. And we're going to bring VR goggles and show it on the big screens as well. So as well, if I'll have time, I also have some plans to connect to tourism uh, heads of uh, UAE and try to offer them as well. Uh, recently, we had a talk with an ex-worker uh, from Alta 
uh, out VR space startup that was sold to Microsoft. And we're trying to get on the bigger markets for something like YouTube, Facebook, and others, because we really want to grow and we want to make our country proud. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. We have time for one extra question. So if there is any from judges. Okay, if there are no questions, uh, thank you very much uh, for your questions and thanks uh, Maxat for. Our next, uh, the pitching uh, a finalist uh, is uh, Aishu Dushenbaeva with project Janat Garden Eco Farm. Uh, they are growing lavender and roses and producing uh, the essential oils from, from these flowers. So, uh, Aishu, can you hear us? Okay, it seems that Aishu has. Uh, I can ask you to unmute. Aisul, can you hear us? Yes, uh, I can hear you. Just a second, oh. please. Okay. And after Aisul, the next one will be Nazika Yasubekova with self typing. Uh, so, Nazika, please uh, get ready. Okay, Aisul, page is yours. Uh, can, you, can you see it? No, not yet, um, but, but if you have, okay, it's coming. Now? Uh, yes, now you can see it, feel free to start. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, hello, my name is Aisulu. I am the founder of the Eco Farm Janet Garden. This little province is established in Isikul. Uh, and uh, we, uh, we help and work, we, uh, work for women. And uh, our motto is from women to women. Um, and uh, our, uh, we, we are your eco friend. Uh, our mission consists of three main uh, aspects. Uh, first, we create and uh, provide uh, job places for uh, rural area women and youth. Uh, currently, we are at the initial stage of establishing the farm and we are hiring uh, women, uh, about 50 women from 18 to 60 year years old. And uh, in the next three years, we plan to employ 300 people uh, through increased production of essential oils of lavender and rose, rose oils. Uh, we also also introduce innovations in agriculture because the last researches uh, are showing that the uh, climate change climate change is influencing to the um, uh, agricultural sector of Kyrgyzstan, we have a lack of irrigation water. Uh, the soil, 75% uh, of the soil is degraded by the salinity due to the uh, usage of heavy chemicals and fertilizers. And that's why uh, in our eco farm, we are providing trainings for the local women, youth and farmers. And we think that uh, education and transfer of our experience to youth, women and farmers will increase jobs ensure the preservation of biodiversity and ecosystems in the region, because this is very important uh, in the development of our country. And uh, uh, in our eco farm, we produce organic essential oils of uh, lavender and roses for perfume and cosmetics company. Uh, we also produce organic vegetables and fruits and handmade products with high value. Uh, uh, our essential oils we provide to Japanese cosmetic company. Uh, uh, we assign the quantity contract with them uh, to supply 500 liters of lavender oil and 10 liters of roses uh, around uh, 100,000 USD. Uh, this uh, cosmetic company have chosen our between uh, Georgia, our people, and they have chosen our uh, growing demand for essential oil in the world. Producers of uh, uh, essential oils, they are using synthetic, and that's why if we produce organic, we will be the, among the leaders for the uh, uh, companies who produce uh, niche perfumes. 
um, the uh, demand for the uh, essential oil in the world is growing for 6% annually, and uh, uh, the total market will be uh, grown from 76 to 124 million in the next three years. Uh, also, we produce organic vegetables and fruits, uh, two types. Fresh one we produce to the eco shops in Bishkek. We have signed the contract with them already. And uh, we also dry vegetables and fruits. And these uh, dried products will be sold uh, to Russia and China because there is a high demand from them for the provision of the uh, healthy food for the athletes. And uh, in our eco farm, we also promote uh, the concept of value added chain. And uh, we teach women to produce uh, products like soap, candles, sachet, and tea. Uh, it will be handmade products, and we are going to sell these products to, uh, to tourists who are coming to Kyrgyzstan and at the Amazon platform. Um, thank, thank you very, thank much. You very much. This is uh, yeah, from Janat Garden. <laughs> thank you. Okay, and thank I'm you ready much. to answer for your questions. Mm -hmm. Okay, so dear judges, if you have any questions for Isolo, we are ready to answer them. Yes, I have a question. Uh, if I... Okay, go ahead, please. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes, yeah. Uh, yeah, could you please uh, tell us about uh, the um, team? Uh, do you have, uh, uh, do you have uh, uh, for instance, trainers to conduct uh, trainings for women uh, uh, that uh, are engaged uh, in your, uh, uh, let's say, business? Echo. Ecofarm, yes. Um, uh, there are two of us, my brother and I, the organizers, the, the founders of this Ecofarm, and we attracted five trainers. We have one technologist who is uh, teaching the women how to produce soup, uh, so soap and other products. We have the agronomist who is teaching the uh, local women how to grow from seeds lavender and how to cultivate the roses uh, so we have uh, around five six people uh, and also I uh, try to uh, uh, I, I'm attracting specialists from Japan uh, especially this company uh, which is working with us they are producing their uh, with the um, agronomists because they need a qual uh, high quality product thank you thank you Thank you very much, Dustin. Um, I have a question. This sounds very similar to the uh, One Village, One Product uh, uh, project done by, uh, I think, the Japanese, uh, I forget the name, the organization. Anyhow, how OVO, are you able, OVOP. Yes. How are you able to sign a contract that you said with Japan for 500 liters of lavender oil and 10 liters of rose oil? Uh, how did that process go and what is the contract value of that? Um, th this, uh, yeah, um, this uh, project, One Village, uh, One Product is organized by the Japanese international agency JICA and uh, they work with the individual families they teach and uh, this those families are producing individual and then they uh, produce and submit their products to the OVOP shop so in our case we organized the farm uh, on the three hectares of land uh, and uh, we are producing in bulk and we, uh, we, we can assure the quality of our product. And when I've been to Japan in 2018, uh, I passed the training on uh, uh, forest processing products. And uh, at that time I met uh, with the leader of the company uh, who been looking for the resources uh, for the raw material. And that's why he visited Georgia and other countries. And when and after meeting with me and uh, uh, listening about our climate, our biodiversity, University region is cool. He would like he he wanted to come and he visited and uh, he chose in our country, and that's why we signed this contract. And uh, I want to say you that uh, one liter of lavender oil costs from sixty euros up to one hundred euros depending on the quality, and the one uh, liter of rose oil uh, costs uh, from forty thousand USD up to eighty thousand, also depending on the quality. Thank you very much. Unfortunately, the, the time for question is over and we should move to the next. Uh... Thank you.
Thank you, Aisulu. Uh, so our next panelist uh, is Project uh, Self-Typing, uh, which is the online platform uh, that helps companies and individuals to use the services of marketers and copywriters, which will be presented by uh, uh, Nazikai Asilbekova. Hi everyone, my name is Nezikaya Sulbekova. I'm the founder and CEO of Self-Typing. And introduction, Self-Typing is an artificial intelligence that generates logically constructed and interesting articles, text, product descriptions, and it helps also choose uh, relevant and colorful images for products. Three months ago, I met my friend that, uh, who recently launched his own business. He sells electronic items, and in that moment, he wanted to uh, sell. He wanted to sell his products on Amazon and Wild Breeze, but he had several problems. First of all, he didn't have enough time to generate images and write product descriptions. And the second problem was money. He didn't have enough money to hire freelancers and pay them $500 per month. And actually, he's not a creative person who, uh, who he doesn't like to sit at the desk and spend five to 10 hours uh, to write product description. Mm, but fortunately, self-typing solves these problems. It generates fast content. One click of button is enough to create new content instead of weekly work. Uh, it also saves you money. You don't need to pay freelancers $500 to do what self-typing can do for $3.25. It also generates logically uh, constructed and comprehensive articles, text, and uh, it, it reads off a lot of books and then generates uh, generates suitable articles. How it works. First of all, you need to write keywords or uh, phrases, and then it shows you examples of text, articles, and how to choose uh, suitable and colorful images. And after that, you need to uh, download or copy them. Uh, our target market are middle and small companies, also startups and individuals like bloggers uh, or copywriters. According to our research, we recognized that 95% of companies promote their uh, products uh, uh, and or services through the social media or online stores like Amazon or Wild Breeze. Uh, we in, uh, we, in 2021, we plan to uh, fully develop our, in, our artificial intelligence uh, since now it, uh, it's a prototype. And actually in 2024, we plan to have more than 20 million users. And in this year, uh, we plan to implement text, articles and images as, as many as we can. Uh, actually, a monthly subscription for companies uh, for companies costs twenty five dollars. Uh, for individuals, it costs also twenty five dollars, and one time using uh, costs three dollars and twenty five uh, cents. Uh, our team consists of two members, and everyone has great experience and incredible background. Thanks. Uh, thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Nazikai. Uh, so, dear judges, if you have any questions for her and her project. Uh, hi, I guess. Can I ask? Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. yes I had a question when I was looking through this sort of. Um, at the rate that you said, uh, so many, I, I didn't see the exact number, like 200,000. Uh, users, there's only 5,000 images and texts. Um, how original or uh, authentic would that content actually be? Or would we just end up with people using the same kind of images and texts? 
Okay, uh, now we cooperate with, uh, now uh, self-typing is just uh, a prototype and we cooperate with 20 individuals and uh, 15 companies. Uh, regional number um, is, uh, since it's just a platform, it's artificial intelligence that we, uh, that we plan to expand on, on the internet through the social media and the original number of our customers uh, will be uh, more will be more than uh, five thousand and six thousand in this year, and this number uh, will increase uh, during the time. Okay, thank you. But my question was, uh, if you have thousands of users and you have only hundreds of pictures, that would mean that a lot of users would, would end up with the same kind of images and the same kind of text. How do you plan to avoid that and how um, authentic or original with those contents? Oh yes. Uh, in every in 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 every years uh, we implement more and more pictures. Uh, in this year we plan to implement uh, more than five thousand and two thousand pictures, images, and text articles. And then um, in twenty twenty three we plan to um, uh, we plan to uh, develop it. Uh, uh, develop it automatically since it since it is an artificial intelligence it will uh, it will generate texts articles and images automatically without developers sorry still have the question um who would the copyrights belong to for those images would you create those images i mean text can be generated artificially but can images yeah uh the copywriters uh, we have we have two copywriters now but the main role of uh, of of, uh, of developing um of self-typing and artificial intelligence um have developers since they uh, they caught um they caught uh, specific codings and then uh, they develop uh, artificial intelligence Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, our time for questions is, uh, is over. Thank you very much, uh, Nazikai, for your uh, pitch. Uh, dear uh, finalists, so before we move on, I would like to kindly ask you to finish your pitches uh, within the limit of uh, three minutes. Uh, so yes, yeah, so it's fair for all of us. Uh, the next, uh, the, the next uh, pitch will be delivered by uh, Adile Toktogulov. Uh, and it's about his project, uh, Genesis uh, Bionics, uh, which is aimed at creating a domestic bionic uh, prosthesis for the upper limbs. So Madilet, stage is yours. Thank you very much. Can you see my screen share? It's, yes, we can. Okay, very good. So, yeah, hello, dear participants, the uh, presidium of today's event. My name is Adilet Toktogulov, and I'm uh, co-founder of startup project Genesis Bionics. Sorry, but where is my... Okay. So I'm very glad to uh, present my startup project today, and with your permission, I will start. According to the Minister of uh, Labor and uh, Social Development of the Kyrgyz Republic, there are around 168,000 people with uh, disabilities, which makes up around 5% uh, of the total population. Totality of the muscle skeletal system ranks third among the causes of disability. All this uh, indicates that our population needs uh, our population needs prosthesis and orthopedics here. No. Uh, the average cost of imported, imported prosthesis is more than uh, $15,000. There are uh, the uh, world of uh, companies Bibionic and Octobok. It's a European comp company who makes uh, bionic prosthesis. But not every person with uh, disabilities has uh, the means to purchase this uh, prosthesis.
the product is aimed at uh, development as domestic bionics for functional processes with uh, assessments to have rehabilitation of our uh, beneficiaries. Uh, the control system for a bionic process work with electron electrodes uh, that raise the electrical uh, pressure potential from the muscles of the stump at the moment of the contraction. Uh, the information from the sensors is uh, transmitted to the uh, microprocessors of the hand and the computer's algorithm is converted to, into the motor's commands. As a result, the prosthesis performs the completion uh, or increasing of the finger. Uh, here you can see some statistics uh, on uh, pricing and services by Bibionic at, uh, Bibionic at the book and our company. Uh, here we uh, want to show some statistics about the price, service, rates, and uh, quality of our product and the bionic prosthesis by the Bionic and Atabok. So here you can see the bionic prosthesis which we which we are modeling on 3D model and which we build and making right now. Today, here you can see some of them. Now, today we have uh, several uh, prototypes of our bionic prosthesis. Uh, and uh, our main task in the uh, direction of highly functional prosthesis is to create more than just a prosthesis uh, to replace the functional of the healthy hands. Uh, we are creating a more than high-tech prosthesis uh, devices that we expand human capabilities in the area of the uh, digital world this year. Okay. Uh, so, uh, thank you very much. Okay, James Bionics, we praise you to thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, uh, Adelaide. Uh, yes, uh, the, the further on, please, dear finalists, uh, follow the, the requirement of three minutes uh, for your pitch. Uh, and now, uh, dear judges, feel free, feel free to ask your questions. I would like just to ask you to uh, speak a bit more uh, loudly so that we can hear you properly. Any questions? Yes. I have a question. Um, do you already have a prototype? Do you have a product that you tested that actually works and you can uh, expand it? Um, and what, what do you need the investments for? Thank you, thank you for your question. Yes, already we have a prototype. We have three types of prototypes. Today, uh, as you see uh, on the presentation here is the last one of prototypes, which we now we are testing. We are working with some girl uh, which has disabilities with uh, right hand, and she is testing our prosthesis. After uh, one week, we will work with them. Already we have, uh, and we are testing right now our prototype. Okay, and what do you need? The do you need investments, and what do you need it for? The bots, yeah. Feature, yeah, just uh -huh. prototypes on uh, on a computer image. I don't see like real prototype. Yeah, uh, about the investment, we already uh, need some. It's also about the 3D printing. Uh, we, we need to some. Uh, the first time is, you know, about the computers and 3D printing, the high uh, definition 3D printing that we can be uh, with, which we, uh, we can do more uh, high quality processes. And about the prototype, yeah, I have. Uh, Already here you can see our real prototype, and already we have not so uh, we have just little time, so that's why I can show you video presentation where you can it will be very good if you will see there uh, there are the girls of uh, testing our uh, prototype the second time. But if you can, I can show you maybe uh, next time. Thank you. I'll already end prototype and already for our video presentation. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, our time for question is uh, is over. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thank, you thank you very much. Yeah, uh, and the upcoming uh, the upcoming uh, pitch is going to be delivered by uh, Adilet uh, Begaliev uh, with his uh, project uh, Sigma Aero, uh, which is the platform from airline companies to track the record of the deviations that occur during the flights on the on the planes. Um, so Adilet, whenever you are ready, please feel free to start. Mm -hmm. 
Hello, can you hear me? Is that clear? Yes, we can. Okay. Uh, so let's get it started. Mm. Okay, here is uh, my presentation. Uh, my name is Adil Bigali, and I will be presenting about the Sigma IRA here. Uh, let's get it started. First slide is about who we are. Uh, my name is Alep Bigalio, and my uh, education background is uh, in aviation from Turkey. Uh, and also, I have finished a certification program in Harvard Business School. And I am currently a vice president in Airmanas uh, in flight safety, and I am a co founder of Sigma Ira. Uh, here is the second co founder. He is a Meder Kutpidunuwa. He is the founder of Sigma Soft, Sigma Ira, and Kundaluk. He has uh, received his diploma in computer engineering in Turkey and Singapore. Uh, what is our uh, about now uh, about uh, our product? Uh, our product is uh, a minute. Uh, our product is called Flight Data Monitoring of Aircrafts. It's a platform that assists an airline companies operators to identify uh, operational risks that occur during the uh, exploitation of the aircraft to improve aviation safety and prevent prevent any kind of undesired safety occurrences. Uh, in the future, so to take necessary precautions and proactive uh, actions. So uh, uh, here, uh, how does it work? Uh, first, it's the raw data that we receive from the aircraft. Uh, the raw data looks like that. And we download that data from the aircraft. Here is the, some flowchart. And then we upload it to our system and we analyze all the parameters, just like uh, engine temperature, like speed, altitude, longitude, and all that, like there are thousands of parameters to analyze. Um, and uh, provided to the airlines, so airlines can analyze it and take necessary actions to improve safety in the future. So we also can uh, vis uh, visualize the flight. Uh, so office people, office staff can also uh, see how the aircraft and pilots perform during the flight with all the parameters included after the flight. Uh, so our milestones, in 2019, we had an idea. So in 2020, we settled the company and we received the first contract in 2020. And up to 2023, uh, we are strongly planning to analyze at least 200 aircrafts. Now we are analyzing uh, one airline company. So our achievements, some companies are already helping us. For example, is uh, Pratt & Whitney, it's an American company. It's helping us in raw data decoding now. Uh, Second is Airbus. We have an, uh, access to the technical library in Airbus, so which is very necessary for us. And also networking, we have a, have a close contact uh, with the Airbus office in Moscow with Alek Khalizov, he's the uh, regional director. And also implementation in Airmanas, uh, we implement and he, it's the first our client. And we are also the winner of the startup competition organized by Kyrgyz Patent in the Kyrgyz Republic. And we were awarded 500,000 uh, 500, sums uh, grant. And also, I want to mention that FDM is becoming a mandatory application in more and more countries these days to improve safety. Yes, uh, thank you very much. Mandate. Okay, uh, here's the last slide. Uh, there are mm -hmm. more than 5,000 airlines, and most of them are small and medium sized airlines. And our focus is only on small and medium sized airlines. Here's the basic sound, uh, market yeah. research. And thank you very much, Agile. Okay. Yes, uh, let's move to the questions. Uh, your time is over. So, uh, uh, dear judges, if any of you have questions, please feel free to ask. I have a question. Uh, what okay. is your what is the difference between your product and Flight Radar Twenty Four? Well, Flight Radar is just showing where the aircraft is flying. You know, it's not showing all the thousand parameters such as I don't know, like engine temperature and uh, like speed. No, I know it can show uh, speed, some things, but they cannot show you all the parameters so you can analyze all the details of the aircraft, when, how uh, it flew the aircraft and take the necessary precautions to, uh, okay. to eliminate Okay, this. thank you. Second question, what program do other airlines use? I, I'm, I'm sure, Every large airline has a program or software yeah. that shows them all this information. How exactly. come the things small that, and uh, medium-sized airlines they don't use this information now? You have no access. 
Uh, yeah, the thing is that it's around like 20 companies in the world nowadays. Uh, it's getting more and more popular. Uh, the thing is that when Aeromanas, for example, wanted to sign an agreement with another company, the thing is that most of them are not interested to work with small and medium-sized airlines. If yes, they are charging the same amount of money as they charge, I don't know, for Turkish Airlines or Aeroflot. And we want to focus on small airlines uh, to make it affordable and give the necessary the same uh, opportunity. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Any other questions? We have like 30 seconds for one more question. I have one, just a really fast one. So do those yeah. small airlines not use this kind of information? They're not really uh, safe? They use the things Why? that... Uh, in, uh, it's not mandatory in all of the countries in the world, but it's becoming high technology is becoming more and more popular. And uh, I'm sure that in your future, most of the countries will become, because there is a, a regulation, it's becoming a regulation from ICAO, uh, International Civil Aviation Organization, that everyone should use, should use for now, these kind of instruments. And uh, uh, they, are, uh, they are starting to use, use them more, more, these kind of instruments. Okay, thank, thank you. you very much. Unfortunately, you the time. It was the last questions uh, which we are allowed to ask. Uh, thank you very much, Adilet. Uh, the, okay. uh, the, next, uh, the next presentation is delivered uh, by Adilet Maratov and his project uh, Reviro, Reviro uh, which helps uh, lawyers to, with acquisition of uh, new clients and uh, sales. So Adilet Maratov, whenever you are ready, please feel free to start. Um, hello everyone. Um, I can't start my video because the host stopped it. Uh, can you enable it back, please? Please try now. It should work already. Oh, here we go. Cool. Um, my screen. Can you see my screen now? Yes, we can. Let's start. Your three minutes are starting. Cool. Hello everyone. My name is Adilet. Um, thank you so much for having us today. Um, I'm the co-founder and CEO at Reviro. Um, I'm presenting our legal tech product for sales. So my background is software engineering. I'm responsible for vision of development team management. My name is Alexander. He came from the business development and marketing world and is responsible for setting up the business processes and marketing strategies. We also have a great team of developers that do a great job at um, making things happen and the marketing team that is responsible for advertising sales and customer support. So the problem in the legal sector, there's a constant fight for every customer and a lot of law firms struggle to attract new clients. It is usually expensive for them to have their own marketing and sales departments. And even if, if they do have those departments, usually it is problematic to attract a steady stream of new customers. This is the, pro this is the problem we solve with low sales product. We do marketing, sales, IT automation, lead generation and legal firms so that they can concentrate on their expertise. But before we start, it is important to understand how the lead generation process works in the legal sector. So there's a primary search for leads in ads campaigns in which potential customers are found and passed to the filtering process to find out whether they are eligible for legal help or not. The next step is aggregating, which is the process of matching potential customers to legal firms and providing free legal consultation. Most of the legal firms concentrate on a specific topic for example, criminal law, family law, and et cetera. So it is pretty important for legal firms to receive leads by topics. So legal firms purchase leads on our marketplace and pay for every single customer that meets a representative at the legal firm's office. So at the moment, we provide marketing, sales, outsource call center, potential customers, uh, first free on-call legal consultation, steady stream of new clients, um, leads marketplace and CRM system for legal firms so that they can effectively manage their customers. Our clients are private lawyers, attorneys, and law firms that want to decrease marketing and sales expenses. The market is huge. We currently work in Russian Federation market, and there are 5 million legal inquiries per year. 210,000 law firms process those inquiries, and 25% of the market marketing expenses for legal firms that want to cover is 27 million US dollars. Uh, but before we started building our product, we did research on the current state of the market and outlined the main criteria on how to deliver the best value. So conversion rate, flexible IT infrastructure, in-house legal sales departments, and low prices are the most important. 
Low prices are achievable because we are based in Kyrgyzstan and labor cost is lower than in Russian market. So for the last year, our income is $135,000 with a net profit of $20,000. The rest of the table is our projection for each year uh, in the future. Um, for the goals, we already have representative um, in Moscow and a legal sales department. Next steps would be to scale our marketing and lead generation topics, transform our serum system into SaaS solution and enter the post Soviet Union countries markets. So this is it. For Thank you very day. much. Yes, Adil, thank you very much for, for timing and delivering the pitch. Uh, dear judges, feel free to ask your questions for Adilet, who is ready to answer. I'll ask then, uh, <laughs> if no one wants to ask. Uh, a question, uh, how do you see your expansion? What What is limiting your expansion right now? Well, um, the limit is the language right now at the moment. Um, if we want to go to like, for example, Europe market or US market, we want to, then we probably want to like uh, be able to speak English and uh, European countries languages. But uh, for this post Soviet Union countries, it is much easier to penetrate the market because well, a lot of people speak Russian and we are planning also to um, find people on the call center members so that they speak uh, Belarus or Ukrainian languages, etc. So the market is like uh, mostly uh, positive Indian countries at the moment. No, I meant what is limiting, not in terms of geography, but in terms of you mentioned you're going to expand inside of Russia as well. So the language is not a barrier. What is limiting yeah. you from reaching more customers, more law firms, more attorneys, lawyers? Budget, well, uh, money, what's what's limiting? Well, it, it kind of both. Um, budget, uh, we want um, like a good amount of money for marketing purposes. And that's the limiting part at the moment because we don't have too much funds for like um, scaling like drastically at the moment but um, in terms of customers um, as i mentioned here before uh, there are uh, 210,000 law firms that want to generate leads and want to process them so um, the limit is like very up high right now and what is the price for these law firms of your uh, service law firms pay us uh, 4000 um, rubles uh, converting to US dollars, it's about 50 or 60 uh, dollars per uh, lead. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, that was the last question for Adilet. Uh, Adilet, thank you for the pitch and for your answers. Yeah, thank you. So uh, our ninth uh, speaker today is Talgat uh, Modaliev. Uh, and he will present his uh, project or application, Chang Chong, uh, which is helping uh, people around the world to learn Chinese language. Talgat, stage is yours. Whenever you are ready, feel free to start. Hi. Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Talgat. My name is uh, we help Chinese learners start speaking basic topics, reading and writing Chinese characters in a couple of months. And we want to present the best methodology for learning Chinese. This, this character Mang, which means busy, it looks like one of the thousand unfamiliar characters. And now... Let's imagine the president of the USA, who is giving a flaming speech in Mang Guolia. Mang is the pronunciation of this word. President is always busy. Mang, the translation is busy. The difficulty of learning Chinese is to memorize characters and their pronunciation. And our method is 12 times more effective. We save time, energy, and money of uh, Chinese learners. Uh, using our method, 874 students started offline from 2017 to 2019. We earned more than $120,000. In 2020, we pivoted online. On Telegram, 217 students from the CIS countries tested our methodology in two months. We got 99% positive feedback. And in 2021, we started working on Wild Lab, and 50 English-speaking people tested our methodology and left their reviews. 
Our product is more than 300 animations, 15 series of comic books, and more than 500 video tutorials, speech recognition, uh, training and listening with native speakers, and uh, writing system, 700 lessons on 7,000 slides. Also, we have online games and additional products uh, like a flashcard with illustrations, notebooks, stickers, AR system, flashcards with character meanings and examples. Uh, additional services, it's HSK, it's an analogy of TOEFL, specialization and education in China. We've already sent 32 students to study in China. With additional services, additional products and mobile, mobile app, we want to create an ecosystem. But first, we started from the mobile app. Uh, market, 200 million Chinese learners around the world. TA are more than $3 billion. Uh, first year, we are going to USA market and then Europe and 30 Spanish speaking countries. Uh, what about our competitors? Uh, our competitors don't have uh, comics, they don't have uh, vlogs, they don't have education in China, animations, and many other features. Also, the founders of these companies is, are Chinese or ethnic Chinese, and our method created by the foreigners, uh, who knows how to teach other foreigners better. At the same time, in our team, we have Chinese people who also advise us. Uh, Changchun revenue from two types of subscription, premium, premium plus, and sales of additional products and additional services. Uh, go to market plan, promotions, referral programs, partnership with educational centers, and etc. cetera. Uh, our team, we have more than 15 people in our team. There are developers, UX UI designer, linguists, uh, animators, uh, editors, and also we have Chinese and American people who advise us. Uh, and this fall, we are going to launch our mobile app. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, uh, Talgat, for being uh, uh, We can hear you. Mm -hmm. OK. Uh, dear Talgat, uh, thank you very much for your precise timing uh, and presentation. Dear judges, if you have any questions for Talgat, uh, please feel free to ask. <laughs> any questions? I'll ask a question. Uh, you went through very quickly. I didn't catch. What was your revenue for last year? Revenue for for, for the last year is one hundred twenty thousand dollars. How much do you because, expect this year? What? How much? How much do you expect this year of revenue? Uh, uh, we we are going to, this fall we are going to launch and first year we are going to more than one hundred thousand dollars second year one more than one million dollars third year more than twelve million dollars and the fifth year more than forty million dollars. Very nice projection. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Dustan. Any other questions from judges? Of okay, course, of course, of, uh, okay. If there are no other questions, uh, thank you very much, Talgat, for the yes, presentation you. and your answer. Uh, and uh, I would like to move to the last uh, but not least uh, pitch uh, of our today's uh, EWC Kyrgyzstan finals, which is going to be delivered by uh, Nuraim, uh, Nuraim Azigaleva. Her project is called uh, Number One, which is the platform for easy online payments. Uh, transfers uh, and other lifestyle services. So Nuraim, whenever you are ready, please feel free to start your, your pitch. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Nice. So I'm ready. Uh, so hello everyone, my name is Nuraim. I am COO and co-founder of number one. Uh, number one is a payment platform for easy payments, fast transfers, and lifestyle services. Also, number one is a part of number group holding company that owns and manages uh, global IT products. The group of companies begins its history with the first IT project in Kyrgyzstan in 2007. It's number KG. And today, all number group uh, products are successful in leading companies uh, like Number, its social media platform. Number Soft, uh, software development company. Number Way, it's a new uh, taxi service company. Number Profi, uh, it's a freelance platform. Um, sorry. Uh, Number Pay, it's a payment platform. Uh, Run Live, it's a business organization uh, for small and medium uh, enterprises. Uh, Number Media, it's a digital agency. Cassette 24, it's cashing terminals. 
uh, number markets. It's a dark store concept uh, grocery delivery. And number food, it's a delivery company. So our goal is uh, to develop the ecosystem of products and become a super app. Sorry. Oh, yeah. So uh, number one can be used as well as for uh, users and businesses. So we are developing our product in four directions. The first one is uh, FinTech and payments. There are, uh, we use functionalities like QR payments, transfers, cross-border payments, lending, installments. So you can also link all your bank cards and e-wallets, uh, as well as crowdfunding, insurance, and escrow. Uh, also, as I said before, we're uh, developing as a super app. So we uh, 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 collected all our uh, ecosystem, all our services, uh, as well as marketplace, e-gov services, tickets, utilities, and household services. Also, we uh, provide uh, business information for small and medium enterprises uh, like a payment platform, loyalty programs, analytics, uh, delivery, and marketplace. And also, you can uh, invest by using your uh, number one application. So our uh, business model depends on service fee from one to 10%. It's from in-app services uh, by providing some uh, banking services like payments, transfers, lending, and uh, collecting some uh, in information for credit information bureau services and a loyalty program. So uh, here is our team with a huge experience in uh, finance, telecommunications, investments, IT startup development. Also, uh, our uh, CIO, Sergey, is good at uh, risk management, project management, and security, and IT. So uh, also, I wanted to add that uh, our uh, uh, company is a winner of uh, WISA uh, competition in North Sultan and Startup Bootcamp uh, Dubai finalist. OK, Vietnam, thank you very much. Your time is over. Uh, now it's time for the questions. Judges, if you have any questions for Noraim and her project uh, number one. I'll ask a question. Um, is this something similar to Kaspi in Kazakhstan, what you're trying to do? Yeah, we're uh, trying to become the digital bank in Kyrgyzstan. Okay, thank you. I have Thank a question have about the investments. Um, would that be you would, you would provide access to global stock markets or? Can you speak a little bit louder? Sorry, I have a question about investments. Do you uh, do you plan to provide access to global stock markets or how would that work? Uh, yes, sure. We'll integrate with the uh, ready uh, platforms like Freedom Finance and also we'll uh, run our uh, product uh, like uh, cryptocurrency product. So we will provide uh, our users uh, different tools uh, as well as uh, in-house tools and uh, from the outsource like uh, ready products. Thank you. Thank you. We have time for one more question, if there is any. If not, then Ryan, thank you, Ryan, thank you very much uh, for your pitch and for your answers. Uh, and uh, that was the last uh, pitch for today. Uh, all ten finalists uh, already delivered their uh, their presentations, and uh, we are ready to move to, to our break. Uh, during which our judges will evaluate and score all 10 startups. Uh, and after the break, we will return. I think it will be like in 40 minutes. It's uh, 3, 3.40 now, so 4.15. 4 uh, we should be back uh, with uh, results. So dear all uh, participants, I'd like to kindly ask you to return to us at, uh, at 4.15, yeah? Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, during the break, you will be able to see some short informational video about uh, PIC, PIC Kyrgyzstan and its services. And uh, I would like to ask the judges to move to separate room to, to discuss our today's speeches. Thank you very much.
Anton, we don't see the click for the joining other room. Uh, yes, uh, Ulan is fixing it. It should appear soon. Um, У вас есть бизнес, и вы хотите его расширить, повысить продажи, начать экспортировать свою продукцию? Или хотите начать бизнес и ищите профессионального совета, знаний или бизнес-партнера, чтобы сделать бизнес устойчивым? Воспользуйтесь преимуществами программы ПИК и ее уникальным предложением и решениями для предпринимателей Кыргызстана. Что такое ПИК? Это название бренда программы по развитию предпринимательства и инноваций, которая реализуется в Кыргызстане и Таджикистане при поддержке правительства Великобритании. Цель программы ПИК – поддержка развития стартапов и стимулирование устойчивого роста действующих микро-, малых и средних предприятий. Как это будет достигнуто? Каждый центр ПИК будет проводить инкубационные и акселерационные программы, которые включают тренинги и семинары под руководством ведущих местных и международных бизнесменов, лекторов и менторов для предоставления ноу-хау и лучших практик управления бизнесом для предпринимателей Кыргызстана. В-третьих, эти центры создадут нетворкинг и информационный хаб, где предприниматели смогут находить деловых партнеров, инвесторов, бизнес-консультантов и менторов. Кроме этого, стартапы, участвующие в программах ПИК, получат бесплатный доступ к коворкинг-зоне ПИК. Почему стоит принять участие в программах ПИК? ПИК предоставляет практические знания и проверенные международные методы ведения бизнеса, которые адаптированы под местные условия и могут быть внедрены предпринимателями в своей работе на следующий же день. Инкубационные и акселерационные программы ПИК совмещают бизнес-обучение с индивидуальными бизнес-консультациями и специальными программами для компаний, представляющих различные секторы экономики. Программы и услуги ПИК являются бесплатными или частично оплачиваемыми в зависимости от выбранной программы и вида услуг. Кто может участвовать в программах ПИК? Учредители, владельцы и руководители стартапов, которые существуют менее трех лет, имеют продажи и минимально жизнеспособный продукт или прототип. И руководящий состав включает как минимум двух соучредителей. Также необходимо намерение зарегистрировать свою компанию в Кыргызстане. Владельцы и руководители микро-, малых и средних предприятий с численностью постоянных сотрудников до 50 человек, годовым доходом от продаж до 30 миллионов сомов и осуществляющих свою деятельность на территории Кыргызстана. Владельцы компании должны быть гражданами Кыргызстана. Как узнать, что ближайший к вашему месторасположению центр ПИК запустил программу, отвечающую потребностям вашего бизнеса? Лучший способ узнать о центрах ПИК и планируемых программах – посетить сайт ПИК и заполнить форму заинтересованности. Или следить за новостями на наших страницах Facebook, Instagram и Twitter.
ПИК будет регулярно объявлять о предстоящих программах по развитию бизнеса для стартапов и действующих предприятий, а также о приеме заявок. Для более подробной информации заходите на наш сайт, подпишитесь на наши социальные страницы, либо свяжитесь по телефону и электронной почте. ПИК. Достигая новых высот. У вас есть бизнес, и вы хотите его расширить, повысить продажи, начать экспортировать свою продукцию? Или хотите начать бизнес и ищите профессионального совета, знаний или бизнес-партнера, чтобы сделать бизнес устойчивым? Воспользуйтесь преимуществами программы ПИК и ее уникальным предложением и решениями для предпринимателей Кыргызстана. Что такое ПИК? Это название бренда программы по развитию предпринимательства и инноваций, которая реализуется в Кыргызстане и Таджикистане при поддержке правительства Великобритании. Цель программы ПИК – поддержка развития стартапов и стимулирование устойчивого роста действующих микро-, малых и средних предприятий. Как это будет достигнуто? Каждый центр ПИК будет проводить инкубационные и акселерационные программы, которые включают тренинги и семинары под руководством ведущих местных и международных бизнесменов, лекторов и менторов для предоставления ноу-хау и лучших практик управления бизнесом для предпринимателей Кыргызстана. В-третьих, эти центры создадут нетворкинг и информационный хаб, где предприниматели смогут находить деловых партнеров, инвесторов, бизнес-консультантов и менторов. Кроме этого, стартапы, участвующие в программах ПИК, получат бесплатный доступ к коворкинг-зоне ПИК. Почему стоит принять участие в программах ПИК? ПИК предоставляет практические знания и проверенные международные методы ведения бизнеса, которые адаптированы под местные условия и могут быть внедрены предпринимателями в своей работе на следующий же день. Инкубационные и акселерационные программы ПИК совмещают бизнес-обучение с индивидуальными бизнес-консультациями и специальными программами для компаний, представляющих различные секторы экономики. Программы и услуги ПИК являются бесплатными или частично оплачиваемыми в зависимости от выбранной программы и вида услуг. Кто может участвовать в программах ПИК? Учредители, владельцы и руководители стартапов, которые существуют менее трех лет, имеют продажи и минимально жизнеспособный продукт или прототип. И руководящий состав включает как минимум двух соучредителей. Также необходимо намерение зарегистрировать свою компанию в Кыргызстане. Владельцы и руководители микро-, малых и средних предприятий с численностью постоянных сотрудников до 50 человек, годовым доходом от продаж до 30 миллионов сомов и осуществляющих свою деятельность на территории Кыргызстана. Владельцы компании должны быть гражданами Кыргызстана. Как узнать, что ближайший к вашему месторасположению центр ПИК запустил программу, отвечающую потребностям вашего бизнеса? Лучший способ узнать о центрах ПИК и планируемых программах – посетить сайт ПИК и заполнить форму заинтересованности или следить за новостями на наших страницах Facebook, Instagram и Twitter. ПИК будет регулярно объявлять о предстоящих программах по развитию бизнеса для стартапов и действующих предприятий, а также о приеме заявок. Для более подробной информации заходите на наш сайт, подпишитесь на наши социальные страницы, либо свяжитесь по телефону и электронной почте. ПИК. Достигая новых высот. есть бизнес и вы хотите его расширить, повысить продажи, начать экспортировать свою продукцию или хотите начать бизнес и ищите профессионального совета, знаний или бизнес-партнера, чтобы сделать бизнес устойчивым. Воспользуйтесь преимуществами программы ПИК и ее уникальным предложением и решениями для предпринимателей Кыргызстана. Что такое ПИК? Это название бренда программы по развитию предпринимательства и инноваций, которая реализуется в Кыргызстане и Таджикистане при поддержке правительства Великобритании. Цель программы ПИК – поддержка развития стартапов и стимулирование устойчивого роста действующих микро-, малых и средних предприятий. Как это будет достигнуто? Каждый центр ПИК будет проводить инкубационные и акселерационные программы, которые включают тренинги и семинары под руководством ведущих местных и международных бизнесменов, лекторов и менторов для предоставления ноу-хау и лучших практик управления бизнесом для предпринимателей Кыргызстана. 
В-третьих, эти центры создадут нетворкинг и информационный хаб, где предприниматели смогут находить деловых партнеров, инвесторов, бизнес-консультантов и менторов. Кроме этого, стартапы, участвующие в программах ПИК, получат бесплатный доступ к коворкинг-зоне ПИК. Почему стоит принять участие в программах ПИК? ПИК предоставляет практические знания и проверенные международные методы ведения бизнеса, которые адаптированы под местные условия и могут быть внедрены предпринимателями в своей работе на следующий же день. Инкубационные и акселерационные программы ПИК совмещают бизнес-обучение с индивидуальными бизнес-консультациями и специальными программами для компаний, представляющих различные секторы экономики. Программы и услуги ПИК являются бесплатными или частично оплачиваемыми в зависимости от выбранной программы и вида услуг. Кто может участвовать в программах ПИК? Учредители, владельцы и руководители стартапов, которые существуют менее трех лет, имеют продажи и минимально жизнеспособный продукт или прототип. И руководящий состав включает как минимум двух соучредителей. Также необходимо намерение зарегистрировать свою компанию в Кыргызстане. Владельцы и руководители микро-, малых и средних предприятий с численностью постоянных сотрудников до 50 человек, годовым доходом от продаж до 30 миллионов сомов и осуществляющих свою деятельность на территории Кыргызстана. Владельцы компании должны быть гражданами Кыргызстана. Как узнать, что ближайший к вашему месторасположению центр ПИК запустил программу, отвечающую потребностям вашего бизнеса? Лучший способ узнать о центрах ПИК и планируемых программах – посетить сайт ПИК и заполнить форму заинтересованности. Или следить за новостями на наших страницах в Facebook, Instagram и Twitter. ПИК будет регулярно объявлять о предстоящих программах по развитию бизнеса для стартапов и действующих предприятий, а также о приеме заявок. Для более подробной информации заходите на наш сайт, подпишитесь на наши социальные страницы, либо свяжитесь по телефону и электронной почте. ПИК. Достигая новых высот.
Anton, should we start? Uh, yes, we should. So just let me let me check. So, dear participants, hope all of you are here uh, and listening to us. Uh, yes. So, uh, thank you very much for your today's uh, pitches and uh, applications and being with us over the last uh, two months. Uh, uh, this was, this moment was planned for basically for celebration, uh, but unfortunately, we have some uh, technical issues on our EWC platform, and we uh, even though we have received. The, the scoring from all the judges, the platform itself uh, has not processed it uh, yet. So basically right now we are not able to announce the, the results. Just to be transparent, uh, I would like to demonstrate to you the, uh, the screen, how is it? So uh, you can see my screen, right? So here you see the... the yes screen of our today's event. Uh, this is the watch live, which basically you can see me now, but the uh, external audience was watching through this. Uh, to see the results, we should uh, click the judge results and judge results would appear here. But as you can see, it's still in progress and it's still pending. Uh, all the startups, how the score at all startups is just zero, which means none of them, and there is the node on in progress. The, the, even though we have the scores in the system, uh, we cannot announce you the results as the, the, uh, the system is uh, just processing it. And uh, we are allowed to add uh, the national winner based on the track record uh, in the system. So that's why we would like to kindly ask you to be patient with uh, this, this final moment. And we propose uh, to meet together at tomorrow, 9 a.m., in the in the morning, uh, night and in the morning to uh, announce the results. We usually expect that the technical support from EWC will help us to receive the the results, and uh, so we know like who is the first, second, and the third, uh, and the rest. And we are expected to provide you this announcement uh, in the morning tomorrow. So if all of you are fine with this process, uh, that's what we suggest. And I invite you to meet tomorrow at a.m. Is it okay? Are there any questions? Yes, it is okay. Thank you. Hello again, it's okay with me, Janet Garden. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry, tomorrow at eight o'clock in the morning, right? Nine. Ah, oh, nine o'clock. Yes. By the link Zoom, right? Uh, this yes, the the same link, the same link on Zoom. I will uh, and I will start it like eight fifty five. You can join. Okay. Okay. So tomorrow yes. we'll, we'll we'll know all about the results, right? Uh, yes, we are like these kind of situations, they happened already at EWC, and we know that within okay. the several hour, hours, they're able to fix it and to show the result. Uh, so we expected that today later during the night, we will, we or maximum in the morning tomorrow, we will have the results. Okay, thank you. Thank so you. To, tomorrow we are expecting our judges and our uh, participants, I mean finalists, yeah? Uh, and our guests, if you have time, you can also join us by the same link tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. If you want to see the results and you want to see the uh, uh, winners of the EWC in Kyrgyzstan. Okay. Thank you very much. Again, we are very sorry uh, for this unfortunately ending of your amazing event and uh, your pitches and all the preparation. Thank you very much. Uh, and as we promise, uh, we will do our best to be here back tomorrow at 9 a.m. With, uh, with the results. Okay. Thank you. Have a good evening and rest of the day. Bye-bye. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Anton? 
Yes, Kiel. Uh, ah, okay. You want to do it now? Yes, of ah, course. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking that you will be tomorrow. No, no, no. It will be today. <laughs> so, right. um, I thought just let's follow by the uh, program. Yeah. Yeah. And ah, okay, okay. Announce the uh, winners. Uh, and judges should provide the reflection now. Yes. Yes, because we have guests and we have a uh, uh, streamlining at this moment. Okay, fine. So, mm -hmm. okay, this was expected to be the time of the, of the awarding ceremony. Uh, but uh, at this moment, I would like to, uh, we would like um, our judges. Uh, to share the, their reflection, their feedback or comments for our uh, today's event. Uh, so, dear judges, if any of you is willing to start, um, you can. Or if not, then I would like to start with uh, Tilia Kashimov. Let's start with Dustin. Or Dustin. Okay, so Dustin, just some general feedback uh, for startups, uh, maybe some wishes, uh, maybe something which they should improve or take care uh in the future okay thank you very much uh, well first of all uh congratulations to all of the finalists um all of the projects are quite uh unique and it was interesting to listen i understand that three minutes is not enough to make a pitch but actually um you should be able to catch the attention of the not just the judge or potential partners investors within a couple of minutes so um, in general, it was good. Uh, I would suggest that uh, my first suggestion is uh, tell more about your achievements. When you're saying that we're planning to do this and this, and uh, I don't know, in 2025, we're going to make millions, but you're not telling what, what have you done already, what results you have already achieved. Um, that's why a lot, if you noticed, I asked a lot of questions like, what was your revenue last year? What progress did you make? It's very important to show your track record. Otherwise, it's uh, as I understand, we want to pick uh, a company or a startup that has a lot of potential to win in the global championship. And when this startup already has a track record, it has a lot more um, opportunities and a lot more chances to win. So that's that's in general um, the main suggestion that I had. Um, also, please take note that presentations also do matter when you do your slides. I, I don't remember which, uh, which project that was, but one of the slides had just way too much information that um, wasn't possible to read. And it's not great when you're just reading the presentation because all of us can read the presentation. Um, it's better when you talk about your project and, and uh, disclose it more in more detail than a presentation would do. So that's, in general, my suggestions. Thanks again. Wish you all of uh, luck. And um, even if you don't win this competition, uh, just keep striving forward and striving for the best results. Thank you very much, Dastan. Uh, so I would like to ask Kalis Hasanova for her words, if there are any. Yes, uh, yeah, uh, actually, it, it was a great honor for me uh, to be uh, in the team of uh, judges uh, because uh, I had an uh, opportunity uh, to, uh, to get acquainted uh, and to read the uh, very interest, interesting uh, and exciting business uh, plans, business um, projects. Uh, but at the same time, uh, it was, I felt the responsibility, big responsibility on me because uh, uh, I felt uh, some concerns and maybe fears uh, to do not correct or, or wrong uh, judgment or evaluation uh, because on my decision or on my um, judgment, uh, I mean, depends um, the, um, let's say the fate of uh, the project uh, or the, of the whole uh, company. Uh, but yeah, uh, thanks to the instructions of uh, the team of PIC uh, and also um, with their technical support, uh, 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 I can say that I uh, cope with, the, the, with my task of uh, a judge. So, um, and also uh, I would like to um, wish uh, 
our finalists once again uh, success uh, in in their um, in their work, uh, and uh, also um, we hope uh, tomorrow uh, the best uh, project uh, uh, or business uh, project business idea will uh, win, and will uh, represent uh, uh, our country in the global aid, uh, arena, yeah, in the global uh, at the global level. So uh, uh, thank you once again for uh, the finalists and also for the team of uh, PIC. Yeah. Thank you very much, uh, Kalis, Merim, if you wish to share some words. Hi again, can you hear me now? Yes. Uh, thank you once again uh, for all of your presentations. I also um, I also want to thank you for inviting me to be a judge. It is a great honor and a responsibility. Uh, but uh, I found that it was a really interesting process, and I had a look at really great ideas and startups. And I think um, all of the entrepreneurs here have great potential. Um, I would like to wish all of you good luck. I really hope that um, the results come soon. Tomorrow morning we'll find out because I'm super interested who will, who will win. Um, I really enjoyed looking through all the proposals and I really think that each one of them has great potential. And uh, um, just like Dastan said, even if you don't win this time, you guys have great potential to go global. Um, so I hope uh, even if this doesn't work out for you, something else will definitely will. Uh, good luck to you guys. Um, some of the presentations were quite short and not very insightful, unfortunately, but I do believe that it was, you know, nerves and everything. So um, good luck next time if you don't win. And, you, you know, if you do win, then I hope to see you on a global uh, international championship in the top 10. Good luck to you guys and see you guys tomorrow. Thank you very much. We appreciate your words. And uh, Farhat, if you have something to share with our participants, we would like to ask you for it. And Chong Rahmat, uh, I don't have any comments, uh, but uh, I didn't expect that it would be so hard uh, to watch uh, for the projects. And because all presentations uh, projects were very interesting, and the, I usually put participate a lot of startup events, but today's projects was very uh, high, very interesting. Uh, I just I want to congratulate everyone on such achievements and we wish them good luck. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Uh, and uh, I, I believe that also we as a big Kyrgyzstan would like to appreciate the contribution of our judges. So I'd like to move the stage to, to Kiel. Yeah, hello everyone. My name is Kiel Sultanbaeva. I'm a country di director of the PIC Kyrgyzstan. So um, it's really a great opportunity for Kyrgyzstan to participate in the World Cup, Entrepreneurship Cup, yeah? So um, uh, first of all, congratulations to all um, finalists. Um, you are the best um, entrepreneurs in Kyrgyzstan who are who can present Kyrgyzstan in the uh, uh, World Cup uh, championship so um, I would like to say thank you to uh, our judges to all your support in uh, uh, EWC Cup national finals uh, we highly appreciate your contribution to the competition that thank you for your time you allocated for evaluation of uh, EWC Kyrgyzstan applicants and the finalists. Uh, so uh, now uh, let me present uh, certificates of appreciation. So if uh, Anton can share the screen. So um, these certificates of appreciation on behalf of uh, national organizers, uh, PIC Kyrgyzstan, national organizers of EWC. I believe that our finalists, uh, thanks to your support, will make great, great achievements in the uh, EWC Global. So um, certificates of appreciation goes to Tile Kashimov, uh, Dastan Momoraliev, Kalis Hasanova, uh, Mirim Tabaldiva, and Farhat Pakurov. Yeah? Soon uh, we will just um, uh, send you these uh, certifications um, 
as soon we're back to the offline uh, work. And also, I would like to say that all finalists and judges and sponsors uh, will be receive some small bags, uh, bags with a present from uh, Pik Kyrgyzstan. And um, I hope very soon we will contact you and we will deliver you the uh, presents and uh, certificates of um, appreciation. Thank you very much and wish you all the best and see you tomorrow at 9 a.m. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much once again uh, to all of you, uh, dear judges, dear partners, and more, most, uh, mostly uh, dear participants. Uh, we are keen to meet you tomorrow once again to announce the, the, the winners, and we hope to, to have the, the result already in the morning. Uh, thank you very much for this like three hours today, and I wish you great evening and uh, have a good rest of the, of the week. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye. Bye bye, thank you. <clears throat>